Hi, this is the continuation of a series of videos designed to give individuals information that they can use to prepare for a visit to a physician. The videos are designed to help ensure that the individual can ask appropriate questions of the physician and to increase the likelihood that quality care will be obtained. Haemophilus influenza B. Haemophilus influenza B is a bacteria that can affect many organ systems. That's right, it's a bacteria. Even though influenza is in its name, it is not the same as the flu or influenza caused by a virus. Now, the most common diseases caused by Haemophilus influenza type B include pneumonia, bacteria in the blood, meningitis, which is an inflammation of the coverings of the brain, epiglottitis, which can result in the swelling of the epiglottis, which may result in the inability to breathe in air, septic arthritis, which is the inflammation of the joints when they are infected with Haemophilus influenza B bacteria, cellulitis, or an infection of the skin, otitis media, a middle ear infection, purulent pericarditis, which is an infection of the sac covering the heart, endocarditis, an infection of the heart, and osteomyelitis, an infection of the bones. Now there are also non-B H influenza types which can cause disease similar to Haemophilus influenza B. Non-B Haemophilus influenza commonly causes ear infections in children and bronchitis in adults, but it can also cause invasive disease. Between 3 to 6 percent of Haemophilus influenza B cases in children are fatal. So vaccination is critical for prevention. Patients 65 years of age or older with invasive H influenza have higher case fatality ratios than children. Transmission occurs through direct contact with respiratory droplets. Neonates or newborns can acquire infection by aspiration of amniotic fluid or contact with the genital tract secretions which contain the bacteria during birth. The epidemiology of invasive Haemophilus influenza disease in the United States has shifted that's right, 99% decrease with vaccination. In developing countries where routine vaccination with vaccine is not widely available, it remains a major cause of lower respiratory tract infections in infants and children. It occurs primarily in under-immunized or non-immunized children and in infants too young to have completed the primary immunization series. Infections due to Haemophilus influenza are normally treated with various antibiotics given by mouth and injection. The CDC recommends chemoprophylaxis for close contacts of influenza B cases. Chemoprophylaxis is the administration of a medication for the purpose of preventing disease or infection. There are no vaccines for non-B and non-typable Haemophilus influenza. Vaccines are available that can help prevent Haemophilus influenza type B. Again, these vaccines do not provide complete protection against other types of Haemophilus influenza disease. The CDC recommends Haemophilus influenza B vaccination for all children younger than five years old in the United States. Several different brands of Haemophilus influenza B vaccine are available. The child will receive either three or four doses, depending upon which vaccine is used. Doses of vaccine are usually recommended at these ages. The first dose at two months of age. The second dose at four months of age. The third dose at six months of age, if needed, depending on the brand of vaccine. And the final dose, the booster dose, at 12 to 15 months of age. Haemophilus B vaccine may be given at the same time as other vaccines. So vaccination is critical. The best thing to do is to prevent. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.